This is the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Trap comedy at its finest. Where if you can't slang yourself, you might as well hang yourself. This is also where you can turn yourself into dope and you become the real man. Whoa, yeah. To the motherfucking trap, nigga. Y'all know what time it is. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. And for those of you guys who uh, happen to catch the show late, you can watch it live at MorrisMediaLive.com every Tuesday from 7 to 8. First of all, we're going to shout out to our sponsors. We got some sponsors this week, uh, y'all. Thanks to the viewers and the listeners. We got the uh, New Millennium Barbershop right there at 4306 Crenshaw Boulevard. And, of course, we got the Shop Hair Lounge yeah, right yeah. there on Crenshaw, 4312, right up the street. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we also brought to you by the J-Spot Comedy Club. In Inglewood, where we will happen to be uh, performing on the 9th mm. of December. Don't forget that we have the uh, Mad Marv Comedy Lounge toy drive. We're trying to toy up some kids. So bring some toys. Get $5 off your admission at the J-Spot on the 9th. Come get it. Now, welcome to another exciting episode, <clears throat> Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. <laughs> Taco and Tequila Tuesdays. Jeff ain't here. We got Sebo in his place. What's happening, Sebo? What it do, baby? That's right. We got uh, Big Camp uh, back again, once, to, once again to uh, talk some shit. And, of course, we got the ghetto Googler, Farouk, in the house. You left out the titties, man. I left out the titties? <laughs> yeah. We never should leave out the titties. No, always include the tatas. As long as we keep that tequila in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Jeff ain't here. I don't know where the fuck uh, Jeff went. I don't know. Maybe he went to uh, undermine some shit. I don't know where the fuck he went back to Chicago. It's cold and motherfucker in Chicago and shit. Freezing. Oh, Freezing for no reason. Out there. No, Jeff had to go take care of some little business out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like family yeah. issues. He had so the, called the, the them savages, the savages the called him back. Yeah. yeah, he had to go home and you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we need a Chicago connect, man. We need a Chicago connect. <laughs> hey, well, you know, R. Kelly was uh, shooting the move and they need to stunt double back, so he had to go down there. And <laughs> he needed another person to fill in so he could piss on. Yeah. Yeah. They needed need need another <laughs> person to stand in to piss they on need to somebody. Stunt double, so he had to leave for the holidays yeah. and go down there and stand in. You they feel need, me? Uh, the, the Stunt pisser. Yeah, he need a replacement piss man. Right, right, right. I ain't got enough piss in my bladder, man. You gonna have to piss on something. I can't piss on all these hoes. <laughs> stunt man, action. Yeah, and and cut, cut. Jeff. Jeff, go in there. <laughs> take the glasses off, Jeff. Drain, take the glasses drain off. the entertainer, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but he had to go down and take care of some business, man. He be back That's next cool. week, man. I'm just That's feeling cool. in for him. We had a good time last week, man. So you know, Thanksgiving yep. was cool. Uh, what y'all do for Thanksgiving? Anybody uh, do Thanksgiving? What's happening? Shit, I'm still eating leftovers, nigga. <laughs> I mean, how, how, how many plates you take from how many houses? I didn't take none from my in-laws' house because, you know, they food be whack. Nah, you, you always get those, don't nah, you? Nah, you don't want to take nothing home. They turkey be dry. You got to eat it in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they ain't playing around, man. They don't, they don't believe in yams, nigga. They be having cooked nah, carrots. Nah, shit. If you, still, if you still got some Thanksgiving food around your house, nigga, you fucked up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you still got anything left from Thanksgiving, still on your fucking with some of that good-ass tea that they make on yeah, Thanksgiving, yeah, if yeah. that's still in the goddamn house, nigga, you fucked up. You know, they still, everybody got a, a corner of potato salad left in there. No, nah, you better not touch that potato salad. <laughs> that corner, that corner. Nigga, you're going to shit for a month straight you touch that potato salad. If you look at that potato salad, nigga, you're going to get sick. It's going to be a poot fest in that motherfucker. Man, poot fest? You ain't going to be Putin, you're going to be sitting like a bird squirting every goddamn <laughs> round. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. So yeah. did you spend the time with your in-laws or who did you spend uh, Thanksgiving with? Oh, uh, shit. I was like here and there, bro. You know how Thanksgiving is. You kind of bounce around. Bouncing you, around houses. Yeah, yeah, until you find that right spot that you know where people got, you know what I'm saying, know what they're doing. Get that good sleep and shit. Yes, 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 man. So I went over to my people's house in Carson, man. You know what I'm saying? So, Carson and shit? Yeah, That's man. cool. What'd you do for Thanksgiving, Kip? Man, I got stuck. I was supposed to be at mom's house because, you know, they had the nice dinner. And I went by my cousin's house, and that shit was so good. What that motherfucker <laughs> at? Black Eyed Peas. The turkey, wait a minute. 
They 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 deboned <laughs> the damn turkey. It's all dark meat. It was so tender, so beautiful. I had three plates. Took a plate home. Had sweet potato pie. They had to had to had the green uh, the, the 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 collard greens with the mustard <laughs> greens. I mean, damn! I put the remix done. on that motherfucker. Oh, oh, shit was so hooked up, so good, man. I went home. My mama was so mad at me because I had plates when I got home, <laughs> and I got they didn't cooked all day. I'm sitting up there. I'm like, I, now I gotta eat some more. Hell yeah, you know? Farouk! I know you fucked some shit up. <clears throat> no, not really, man. I really didn't eat, but. I did appreciate taking the day off because, as you know, I didn't show up for work. Mm -hmm. So I was basically resting. You know, sometimes, you know, when you're a real hustler like me, you really don't know how actually tired you are until you just sit down and slow down and don't do nothing. So I basically rested, but I did have some prime rib and I made some Brussels sprouts, you know. Did you relax with some eight ball or it was just regular? No, Hmm. man. You know, I'm a tequila man. (laughs) I don't drink beer or none of that. The only thing I I I, I get a, a chicken drunk before I cook his ass. I I feed all chickens old English before I put his ass on the grill. That's the secret to my grilling success, old English. But no, I don't drink it. I just drink tequila and Perrier water, man. Well, we had some cool shit going on uh, for Thanksgiving. It was interesting how your boy Fidel Castro died on Black Friday. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, 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 but didn't he stand for, he was anti-capitalism, right? Hell yeah, and died on the most capitalistic day in America. <laughs> he was like, the nigga dead, we got some sales to get. Is, is that poetic justice? I don't know what it is, but a sale is a sale is a motherfucking sale. You know what I'm saying? Well, wait a minute, pe- his shirt was on sale. Uh, uh, on Black th- Friday. This is an unknown <laughs> fact about Fidel Castro. A lot of people don't know that Fidel Castro attended UCLA out here in uh Southern California. He was a student there uh-huh. at UCLA. What the one? Uh, University of Compton make a left at Alonzo? No, no. Actually, UCLA. He attended. Also, likewise, his daughter. They both were students of UCLA. Hey, I just, you know, I had I had read some important uh, shit that I didn't even know about Fidel. You know what I'm saying? I, I read that uh, they tried to kill his ass like uh, over 300 times. No, yeah, over a lot 600 of times. times. Yeah, yeah you, you miscounted three. She like 600, times. 700 times. 600 times they tried but to kill But you know, my, my shit don't download as fast <laughs> as everybody else's shit. I got one in the Metro. <laughs> hey, you got to be a bad motherfucker for me to try to kill you 700 times and still Well, he, he's most definitely um, has nudged his way in the infamy of being a historic figure, you know, and also a legend, you know. A lot of people can paint a lot of bad things about him, but they are people that favor some of his ideas. Nevertheless, no matter what side of the fence you fall on, Fidel Castro will forever be in the infamy of, of history, world history. Do you know they tried you know. to kill this nigga with an exploding cigar? <laughs> One time before. <laughs> I mean, how you do that? The motherfucker, all he did was Bugs smoke. Bugs. All he did, yeah, it's like, we, uh, fellas, we're going to have to resort to the Looney Tunes on this. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I know uh, he shut down the mafia and a whole bunch of shit in the 50s, man. Alpha, Bravo, he Fox, Trump. everything. You know, this is one of the Looney only Tunes. person that came out of the hillsides of the, uh, or the jungles of Cuba and came and just took over everything. You know, shut down everything, everybody. He gave people a few hours to get their ass out there. And to show you how isolated the Cuba has been, you know, all of the cars there are cars from the 50s. You know, 57 Chevys. Yeah, I heard they was like, because like uh, the, the parts to those those cars, they got to get them imported. So it wasn't imported. So it had to, like, make uh, alternators with, like, popsicle sticks and shit. Hey, oh, however yeah. they made it happen, man. But I know that... It's just like a time capsule. When you go there, it's just like it was when they stopped Americans from coming over there. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Bugsy Siegel opened up a <laughs> casino there, the first Ramada over there. And before they got to open it up, they had to shut it down. Yeah. And he put a lot of millions of dollars there. From that point, he went to the middle of nowhere. It was a, was a desert in Nevada. Did I tell you this nigga was a ghetto Googler? Yeah. <laughs> ghetto Googler. <laughs> I'm telling you. He Googler. opened up the El Cortez. The, 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 <laughs> Where the you, fuck? What street you, was that on? It's hey, on hey. Fremont Street. Hey, Fremont bro. Street in Vegas was the very first strip. 
Hey, that's what, that's what happens when you do a little jail time, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm not that type of cat, man. Hey, I'm just first. <laughs> Bugsy Siegel opened up the L. Cortez on Fremont Street once his program didn't go right in Cuba. He lost a lot of money in Cuba. But time froze in Cuba because all the cars and all the shit that was going on then, mm-hmm. that was the last really but trade. They, uh, so they, did they, salt and seasons on their food. They kept them motherfucking, uh, <laughs> they kept them Cubans no salt well, Cuban Cuba. has a lot of African culture. You know, that was part of a slave trade, too. A lot of Africans stopped there, too. You know, got dropped off there, but... Cuba have a lot of uh, good ba- baseball players too. But How many stars would you give uh, Cuba? Because you, you just like the uh, Google on on the computer. Well, I think it's a it's a good place for a lot of us to visit. You know, yeah, believe, yeah, you believe, believe it or not, not believe it or not, free. before it's over with, a lot of people that look like us go end up moving to Cuba. Uh, uh, well, well, no, that's after you built the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, that don't have nothing to do with it's the wall. You build the wall they that don't, that don't have nothing to do with the wall. That just has something to do with you being internationally inclined in the importance uh, uh, of uh, Cuba and world history. We almost no. got him for illegal use of big words and shit. He's almost. I said internationally inclined. Have you been to Meaning Cuba? Meaning that once you. No, nobody can, but you can go now. No, I, no, I actually have been yeah. to Cuba and went Yeah, there. okay. I but I'm checked. just saying, though, really, as far as, like, tourists mm-hmm. is concerned, there has not been a lot of influxion of a lot of vast American people going there. Cuba, Havana is a major city in Cuba, right or wrong. Yeah, it's Havana, a major city. Havana's a major really city. We got to pull out our own uh, geography book to even understand half of this shit. Well, well, well. Havana really back then was what Vegas is now exactly, internationally. Exactly. Well, now, so Havana was the first real spot in the Western Hemisphere where you can go get prostitutes, gamble, do whatever you want to do. Is anybody verifying this shit? Well, I, I can verify when I went yeah, there. When I, I mean, went, when, by the time I got there, it wasn't none of that <laughs> <Nah>. shit. <there. laughs> Them motherfuckers didn't have salt. No, nah, it's, it's under. It was under a whole new different frame of rules. You're not going to a fucking Seven Eleven in Cuba. It's that, not did that happening. shit look like TJ? Uh, no, TJ got Seven Eleven. You got a yeah. pharmacy there. You can go buy shit. Ain't they got, they got Eleven Seven. <laughs> and TJ, and TJ is called Eleven Seven. Hell no. <laughs> You ain't, buy, bente. Yes. you ain't buying shit in Cuba except a Buccanero. Yeah, yeah, but uh, uh, TJ. Uh, yeah, I but, loved it. I used to go to TJ and buy fake Rolex watches <laughs> for twenty five dollars a piece. How much you sell them for? For two fifty <laughs> a piece. This was in the 90s all the time. I go and get like 10, 15 at a time, did man. You, hold up. Did you ever go to Adelita? Look just like them motherfuckers too, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, I'm talking about look just like them, bro. Hey, man, they good, man. Yeah. Did you go you're to Adelita's? You're talking about, you about the Mexican restaurant. Adelita's. The Mexican restaurant. <laughs> yes. When in Mexico. I love it, man. <laughs> drink the beer, don't drink the water. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that bit of TJ. Uh, They'll tell you that. Hell yeah, we used to go in the fuck shit and party all the time. Park. Yeah. We used to park on, on on this side and walk across the board. Yeah, but see now yeah. shit got different. You know, shit is different now, been, man. I ain't yeah. been there in about ten years. But so, TJ used to be the spot to be. So check this out. Now we we talking about what everybody had for Thanksgiving and everything. Now, uh, what does really Thanksgiving mean to most niggas though? I mean, just family. Everybody, everybody get together, the family come over, you know, everybody Eating. everybody eat till they can't eat no more. You know, for some niggas it mean freeloading. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, a you lot know. of niggas it mean freeloading. You know, for other niggas, you know, they want to beg and do all kind of things. But to me, I think that you should thank God for giving you every day of your life. And what it means for intents and purposes historically about the Indians and pilgrims, that is a absolute lie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, yeah, Thanksgiving, people. as we know, was created by Jew lobbyists that lo- lobbied to Congress mm-hmm. to make I it you, I told you this a shit holiday, not. to make it a holiday so they could do extra business and make more money. You ain't has, going to Hollywood it, with this it, show. It, it, it doesn't, <laughs> right now. It, it doesn't you know matter, right now. brother. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I have to educate and enlighten the people. Hey, now, hey, if hey, you hey, want to hey, do hey, shit, hey. lie to the people <laughs> for the fortune of fame. <laughs> You can't tell no more lies. <laughs> All the lies have been told. I'm just exposing them. That's it. Now, just you, can, you can be continuous of the lie, or you can be a part of the evolution of this age. So of what, what do you think? What do you think about Christmas, Farouk? The real, the real shit. 
Christmas is a pagan holiday. It has nothing to do with the so-called Christ. If you read in the Bible, I'm not a Christian, but if you read in the Bible, it'll tell you that the Christ was born when the sheep was out the pasture. So that cannot be in the winter. In the winter, there's no grass for the sheep to even eat on. So read and educate yourself, my people. Okay, the Christ was born in spring or June. That's like okay? a, he like like the, a, a ghetto rain. Well, man. let me tell you something. Historically, the only biblical character that was born that date was Tammuz, the son of Nimrod. That was the first of rebellious against God, his son. And they uh, pagan tradition was that their dead ancestors. The embodiment of their spirits was embodiment in these sacred so, groves. So where did the presence? Uh, where did the presence come from? Where the presence come from? Well, they would go to these sacred groves that embody the souls and spirits of their ancestors. There was a sacred grove of evergreen trees. You know, God clear, damn. pine trees. <laughs> he you good. know, pine. They call this it evergreen good. pine. But they thing was they would go and worship and praise. To these ancestors that was uh, metaphysically somehow transforming to the spirit of these trees. Well, well check this out, uh, Farouk. Let me hit, hit the motherfucking back button. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker, the ghetto Googler is real. I might have to save this shit and put it in one of my cookies. Hey, the ghetto Googler. <laughs> History, so man. look, we about to go to break. Once again, we brought to you by the new Millennium Barbershop and the Shop Hair Lounge and also the J-Spot Comedy Club. And if you want to watch this show live, always remember MorrisMediaLive.com. You can watch it live and subscribe to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Uh, on YouTube. It's free. Subscribe. And we'll be right back. Quick release the cash. Watch it fall slowly. Frag girls still trying to get it. Haters mad for whatever reason. That sounds good, man. Hey, Marv, what's your call in number for these people? Call in number, ladies and gentlemen. It's 323-293-3375. Call in, chime in. You guys want to talk about young Fidel. If you want to talk about uh, what you ate for Thanksgiving and what uh, came out your ass. Or you want to talk about how you feel about Christmas. Because some people uh, don't give a shit about it and some people can't live without it. You dig what I'm saying? So we're back at the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge once again. Now, we want to find out... Uh, what these comedians got coming up next? Because, you know, Farouk, you got a big show coming up. I, uh, I heard about it. Everybody's been asking me about tickets and everything like that. Where, where are you performing at next? Uh, I'll be performing at the J-Spot, you know, your production at the J-Spot on the 9th of December. You know, we got that coming up. It's a lot of hot comedians there. You know, it's uh, the hottest ticket on Friday in December that you ever want to be at. Now, last you know, time so. at that show, uh, you did pretty good because you was hosting, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you were supposed to bring Robert Williams' uh, ass back uh, today. What happened to him? Uh, he uh, had a real family emergency. He just called me, let me know he had a family emergency out of town. had nothing to do with that blanket, did it? No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, but Wait, he'll be back. Was you at at the club when, when the man put the blanket out? No. Nah. Oh, my God. That's Undercover right. smoker. I got the joke. Shit. Where, where you perform at, Sebo? Uh, Oh, uh, well, I got come. I got some J Spot shit coming up myself. Uh huh. Comedy store, ha ha. Uh, shit, just did Laugh Factory. Now you ever you ever did the uh, improv down there with a uh, big spike? Yeah, we just did that Monday four last. Shout out to Hemp Productions. You know what I'm saying? They got some good clothing lines. But uh, over there at 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 Spice Club. Now I hear it's a cool little crowd or whatever. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you murder that shit, you can feel the energy. How did you feel when you was on that stage? Oh man. Well, you know, that's the that's like one of the main stages to be on. You right, know what I'm right. Saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying? And when you're on the stage and you, you know what I'm saying, you you hit you hitting your notes, you feel, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what it you know what it feel like, nigga. Shit. Yeah, yeah. You ever had one of them clubs where it's like one of them hole in the motherfucking walls? Are them shit? the best ones? Ain't they though? Man, them the best motherfucking ones, them hole in the walls. You know what I'm smell, saying? If it don't smell like chicken, you don't want to hey, even them perform hole in that the wall. The, the holes in the wall what, what they, they prepare you for improv yeah. and laugh factories. I think and I did stores, some of my you know uh my, my my best comedy in uh two hole in the walls. In the walls yeah. A living room and a <laughs> uh bottoms <laughs> up. The Mar living room was there sound like with a me. motherfucking house. Mar was there, you know, at uh, the living room. Remember we did that little thing at the living room? Oh, yeah, uh, right and, there. Uh, bottoms up. 
Yeah, you know, yeah. That shit was cool. With your Just boy Steve people, Fly. Little people be up in that motherfucker, but they be ready to laugh because they be so close to the bar. You know what I'm hmm. saying? When the motherfuckers be drinking, yeah. that's when the shit be funny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was your experience when you was out there uh, in, in, in Steve Fly's room? It was real cool, man. You know, um, it was a mixed crowd. It was kind of packed, you know. But you had about 19 people in there. Yeah, and that's packed that's at this bar. That's including the bartender. You know yeah, what I'm I saying? Am. <laughs> but it was a real cool crowd, man. You know, that, they, they caught me in my rarest form. I got a lot of laughs, you know. Hmm. Marv, you know, he... Uh, Retarded. He was in rare form and shit. He was, well, standing, I just, I was just standing on jokes. tables and shit retarded, like that. As usual, retarded. You I know. had to put a little strip tease yeah. in there. They wasn't paying. Marv was standing <laughs> on the table, had some old Mexican women throwing dollars and shit at him. Oh, hell no. So I had a real good time that night, man. You know, you know how the promoters be doing it? Uh, you do a show and then they be like, let me holler at you in the back real quick. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, shit. Yeah, and we, you know, we got real wild, man. And another uh, little cozy spot called The Living Room on Crenshaw. You know, uh, I really enjoyed that, too, you know. Me and Mara both was uh, drunk. Matter of fact, I was damn near injured. You know, remember I had my leg injury? I was damn near limping. You know, they, they just gave your boy uh, Dave Chappelle, what, like $60 million for a uh, Netflix, Netflix deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. all right. His ass was on, uh, was it, uh, Saturday Night Live. Who's seen that? Anybody seen that? Yeah, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. His ass yeah, when he hosted it, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, he was funny. They let him go, they let him go, too. He, he got he got loose, he was uncensored. He had to say sorry to Lauren, whatever, Lauren Michaels, the producer. <laughs> he went off, and, he, and then he got to talk about, I was staying in the Trump Hotel. Yeah, yeah. And he said, what did he say? What did he say about the maid? He said, I just grabbed her by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Up front with Trump. Up front with Trump. I, yeah. kinda, I kinda feel bad about that move now because we've been doing that shit for years. And now, now right. it's called elementary it's, school. It's, it's called a Trump now. Yeah. I got b my nose busted by doing that shit in the uh, third grade. <laughs> Yeah, grabbing about a pussy. My homeboy's sister. I did that going oh. to lunchtime. She socked me in my nose and like I groped her, grabbed her shit. You know. Now you sound like Trump. Oh, it wasn't a really grab. Wait, I, wait, I, wait, just, wait, wait, I just wait, groped her. I grabbed her. Fruit, you was already famous in, in, in elementary school. <laughs> no, I was just popular. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Just went up, grabbed yeah, her. Yeah, I grabbed her and she socked me in my nose, busted my nose and shit, you know. Grabbing oh. about a pussy. <laughs> Grabbing about that goddamn pussy. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What did your homeboy do? Hey. That's his sister. What did he do? He didn't do shit because I was going to beat his ass. His sister was tougher than him. What was his name, Mike Pence? No, he was older. <laughs> he was older than her. She was just a tough one, you know. Not right, all, right, right. Not all of guys get that tough G. Some sisters will whoop your ass. Don't act like, you I know. I've been you for Well, she hey. was tall back then. <laughs> Hey. But guess what we did during detention? No. We both had to do detention together. Brooke said she got I a grown hey. ass pussy. <laughs> yeah, he had peach fuzz on it. You know what I bet you ain't grab that motherfucker no more. No, I had to respect. I had to, I, I had to ask her first. I had to ask her, was it all right first? Yeah, right. Respect, yeah, she that said, camel okay, then I, yeah. Hey, Trump put it out there, though. You hey. know what I'm saying? I got a topic hey, I be man. talking about on my comedy show. At least about we him. know he's not gay. Yeah. What you be saying about Trump? Because, uh, you know, what can't you say? about the man. I'm just saying. I, I knew when he said he was running, when he, well, the day he said he was running. You said he was going to be the he president. He's going to win. I knew it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even a political thing. It was a money thing. He he don't have he don't need no endorsement. He don't need no sponsors. He don't need no goddamn. Like you said, he he don't wait, have wait, experience wait, wait, wait. in nothing he but knowing how to win. Sponsor. He had he said he know how to win. Who was his sponsor? He spent it, most it, of his own money. Fox News and CNN. Man, I'm just oh, saying. You know what I'm talking. You know you know you know them all day long. Up. These yeah. are the main two people that he bashed and that was really against anti Trump. You know, Megyn Kelly gave him. He made both of them. Now that he's the president and he controlled the press. CNN was a, a, in the New York Times. She embarrassed both of them. But he don't even so, want to live in the White House. He said, so let me just stay in the correction, house. he was not sponsored by CNN or Fox. That was Hillary people. Yeah, yeah. But Fox they, ran his own. Uh, they Trump. inadvertently sponsored him, if you think yeah, about be, it. And they because, everybody because, in the nation with them. Because they gave him world. negative publicity. And American people can see beyond the facade. Well, any publicity is always good publicity. Yeah, that's so what it is. So, do you think it's do you think it's really going to dramatically change anything? I mean, because I, I got people really scared. They like, uh, we gonna have to get these goddamn phones back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, they really they like for real. 
Because my shit is dropping calls more than... Well, if that's all they worried about changing, man, then I guess they still all right. But see, the thing is, drastically, you have to change the, the environment that we're in, you know. Mm. Um, the greatest productivity that we as a people had is when we so-called was most impressed. When things were segregated, we had doctors, we had engineers, we had, uh, we had, hey, we had architects. We had, don't forget, we had quick and split. Yeah, no, nah, that shit came in the drive-by era. <laughs> <laughs> that was after dope. Hey, we had Quick and Split in 70. No, no, Quick and Split was there. Quick and Split was there like 70, 71. Yeah, it was right there. It was, it was right crack there. then. There was free basin was the first uh, initiation to crack. But what I'm saying on a serious tip is that we as a people were more productive when we was left alone and was forced to deal with each other in unity. And if that's what this day bring in this new century, then that's a opportunity for us because we can no longer ignore one another as we individual. We have to have some type of collective form to where Kiddo, we can all can benefit from. Donald Trump did uh, elect your boy Ben Carson hey. for the uh, housing and development head. <laughs> Yeah, housing and urban development, Ben Carson. Yeah, they put that nigga in charge of the project. So, you know, he really <laughs> he really is, is is in the game right now. So you can't really say, you know what I'm saying, that he ain't for the black people. He don't want to do nothing. He don't want to help nobody. Watch, you about to see wait, some cold-ass projects. We're going to have some niggas that's going to be you gonna see some cold out the projects. You're going to see watch. some Trump Tower-looking <laughs> projects. So now they're going to have uh, smart TVs and microwaves All of that and shit. every— uh, Project, Projects. Yeah, the project's gonna be like condos now. That's right. That's oh, right. yeah. That's right. And self cleaning mattresses. Gonna be like con- it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a new, the project, the Millennium Projects. Hell yeah, yeah. valet and everything. Yeah. Wash and dry hookup, dishwasher. I feel sorry for least people. Pick me up, take you to your hotel, drop I your feel ass sorry for people that, be, that depend upon public assistance, man. This is something that we gotta retrain our mind away from, man. You know I mean something as simple as your grandmama recipe for a pie, anything can make you a million dollars now. We got to learn how to stretch our mind and ingenuity and creativity to become entrepreneurs I done seen some people, and start man. our own business. We can't no longer man. work for people no more. Most you of these tell people me, don't have jobs for us to work for. You can't tell me you ain't seen that player in the fish market when the benefits come on his EBT. He start ordering orange roughy and shit he ain't never ate before, and he happy to the motherfucker off that EBT. Oysters, you ain't seen lobsters. Him. Yeah, but shit. the thing is, they ain't giving this. They're Jelaine not giving that. him no real orange he roughy don't, he don't even in the first play. He thinking he getting salmon. You getting rainbow trout. It just died. He don't, he don't give so, a fuck. He don't know what he getting. Whole man. Foods take EBT, man. And Costco. That's damn long. They do take EBT. Yeah. Costco take that motherfucker too. I see I put that shit. I went in there. Anybody ever went to Costco? You been to Costco? Yeah. Shit. Costco got everything. Right. Nigga, I went in there and had lunch. Costco is is is, is like a it's like Walmart Walmart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it ain't just Walmart. It's Walmart, Walmart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. They got everything hey, in there. That that's who Wal that's, that's who Walmart. You know what I'm saying. Nah, get the dope. They from. got batteries, <laughs> right, that's drawers. Who, that's who Walmart highlight. That's they got, they I mean, too. Yeah, that's who they highlight. You Costco's know what I mean? got batteries, drawers, right. tampons, tents, TVs, tequila, salmon. <laughs> They got what? Uh, Brus- Brussels sprouts, backpacks, cheese, fresh produce. Uh, they do. Diapers, nail polish, they got a gym. Costco's this got everything. This motherfucker, I oh, told just you, coffee. is really the ghetto Googler. They do. Costco's got everything. I'm telling you, that's who Walmart holler at when they run out of dough. Hey, let me holler at you, my nigga. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Sing your I, shit hard. I, I, I need a four and a baby. Now check this shit out. Yeah. We had a, we had a hell of a weekend today. Uh, this weekend, because I didn't really give a shit about the Thanksgiving and everything. I was I was giving a fuck about all the football games that was going on. And look like the Lakers is doing good. We feeling kind of good about ourselves, you know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, for a minute. Yeah. I, I, uh, how you feel about the Lakers? I know you know, I like, love the Lakers, man. They a young team, man. They're the youngest team in the league. Eventually, they go run everybody tongue down their throat. And they got a lot of good see, shooters. That's, a, that's, a, that's yeah. about a five-year eventually. But that's my damn team. I, I don't want to do five years. I give, say give, three give, years. Give me, give me Anthony Davis and Boogie Cousins. Huh. Give me another point guard. We can run forever. Who's the, who's the guy that was playing basketball that uh, had the vertebrae in- injury? He had got a, uh, what was it, $135 million contract? Uh, wait, 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 wait. He played for the Grizzlies. 
Grizzly. Oh, you talking about Zebo? But Z- did he have his brother baby, or you talking about Gasol? Which it's, one? It's, it's a new motherfucker that got a hundred thirty-five million, million dollar uh, contract hmm. for the Grizzly. Who? Derrick Rose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he played for the Knicks. Oh, he said the Knicks. Oh, no, he got that money from See, Chicago. Is, Derrick Rose got, got his money. That nigga. Had, <laughs> Jeff out there collecting yeah, his he money. He can't play because he got a hangnail. What the fuck? Now, what, what happened with damn uh, Derrick Rose? I heard he was messing with the ladies and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Derrick Rose. It was a bunch of Trump rape charges. You know the funniest he was shit. He pussies, too. That's what they say, but you know the funniest <laughs> shit. No, no, that he I wasn't saying. his homeboy. You probably pussy. remember this when Tyson was in the brew by this one dude where they, he met the mayor or whatever, and they were saying that he can run for mayor, too, but you know, you got rape charges. When so was this? This was like uh, probably around five years you ago. You be getting your news sent to your house. No, <laughs> it was on Facebook. I be missing all this. <laughs> no, but Tyson called the dude a piece of shit. He was like, what you saying is negative, and I'm not going to respond to that. Oh, wait, you're talking pers- about that video, the, the, the dude, when the dude inter- interviewed interview him. Interview him, when he was yeah, talking yeah. about a piece of shit. Show, right. And fuck then, you. Wait a minute, so right. you're sitting up interviewing Mike Tyson. You got the balls to ask him about a rape charge that he already didn't die him over. You yeah. saw the shit, yeah, right? Saw the shit. Yeah, I saw yeah. the shit. Dude, dude damn near shit his pants. <laughs> Because he's funny, you know, you, you, you want to come off like you're a nice guy, but you're actually a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, that, he said that. Said, Fuck no, you. Mike Tyson told him that. Yeah, you want to come off. He did it real smooth. Yeah. Real smooth. He said, you're a piece of shit. Fuck your show. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. What are you going to do? Fuck you. What are you, you going to do? You? Fuck you. You're a piece of shit. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. You're a rat piece of shit. He called him a rat piece, piece of, of shit. shit. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? That's a cold piece of shit. A rat piece of shit. That's what happens. That was the funniest shit. That I seen on Facebook today, man. That shit was on today. Yeah, on Facebook. I'm gonna watch that oh, shit. No, that, like... shit, that shit happened years ago. Right? Oh yeah, they, it, yeah, resur- it resurfaces all the time yeah, though. I seen it today. That happened years it ago. It resurfaces back and forth a lot of time. First started doing his show, his uh, yeah. his one man show. Oh okay. yeah. And dude, he was went to a town. I forget what town it was, but that dude was. He was I was watching silly. the uh, the Mike Tyson cartoon. You seen that shit? That shit funny. It's like when he had the dude. pigeons shitting on the yeah, show. Yeah, hanging out with pigeons and talking <laughs> pigeons and shit. I ain't see that shit. Yeah, he got talking pigeons and shit. Shitting on his shoulder. All that. Bird droppings on his motherfucker. Shoulder. Yeah, he the champ though. You know what I'm saying? That's what yeah. he does. What I'm not gonna champ? talk shit to Mike Tyson. I ain't gonna no. talk shit about Mike Tyson. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk shit to C boy ass either. I know. You know what happened? Listen, I had to be forced to fight a nigga like that. <laughs> what listen, did they listen. say? This nigga said last week he said, uh, he said, Don't talk shit to C Bo, he will snatch your arms off your body. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what happens when, when you get your arms snatched off your body, man? You got whole, me in your pocket. There's a whole lot of shit you can't do. <laughs> what, 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 C-Bo, what can't you do if you ain't got no arms? You can't wipe, wipe your ass. ass. <laughs> That's the first thing oh, you can't do. You yeah. can't wipe your ass, you can't drink shit. You, you can't yeah. protect your chin. Right. You can't play with no pussy. None of that. <laughs> You're a good scoop game when you, know, you can't do no push ups. No, you can't slap a bitch in the mouth. You <laughs> can't eat. <laughs> Gotta sit down when you pee. But, hey, you, you can't you can't head butter. Hey, you can't tell me to come in from a distance. <laughs> you damn sure can't climb no ladder without no arm. <laughs> Hey, How the can't... fuck would you be trying to climb a ladder with no arm? With your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> or chin. Nigga be driving with his chin. Like yeah. that. <laughs> you can't do push ups. Wait a minute, you can't you can't do missing. You, you can't eat raisins. <laughs> Hey. Got, uh, raisins and policies, you, you ain't fucking with them no more. You do doggy no. style without no motherfucking no, arms. You falling over. Hey, <laughs> nigga cannot hey and nigga cannot put a bitch in the buck. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no arms, nigga. How you gonna pin a bitch down? <laughs> It's a cold situation, man. Hey, hey man. If, you, if you guys want to chime in to some of this ignorant ass shit, it was a call at 323-293-3375. Call in and chime chime in. And if you don't call, uh, we're going to send Sebo to your house and he's going to rip off <laughs> your motherfucking <laughs> arms. And you ain't going to be able to wipe your ass. <laughs> That's some crazy shit, man. I'm so nervous. Open your door. I'm so nervous about this damn, this, this damn sports uh, season, man, because my team was losing uh, horribly. You know what I'm saying? We was losing horribly. And Did they we, win? We finally won against the damn Eagles. But, but your boy was. Y'all deserved that, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, like, it's like your boy. Y'all still ain't shit, relax. though. It's talking shit about. Hey, but you know who is the shit? That boy, Devontae Adams, showed yeah. up last. He showed his ass last yeah. night. That boy mm. got off. Now, now, the game I liked was was the uh, Kansas City and the Broncos. That, that was shit a good one. had me on, on the edge of my chair. For the ages. Okay, question. Question for each one of you. You got a chance to win? To tie or to lose, but you only got one, and the decision you make is either gonna be win 
or lose or tie, which one would you take? I'm winning. Okay. You? Yeah, for I'm going to take sure. the same win every time. I'm going yeah, for the win. win. I ain't doing nothing else but we I'm going for the win. <laughs> how we go how we go split no a sir. damn win. Yeah, how you gonna split? I want that? everything. If it's take that's all what we or play, none, you're gonna have none and I'm gonna take all. That's what we playing for. Okay, okay. Who okay. the fucks wanna say, hey, look, Check I just wanna have out. a good game. <laughs> just make sure you don't score as many points <laughs> well, as me. Who the we're gonna just all the way over the We're gonna be equal. Right, right. We're gonna be equal in this, okay? We're both gonna have share of this win. And let's just send the Come referees on, home. Yeah, that don't make no <laughs> sense, man. You play the game to win, man. So so you all agree with Definitely Gary Kubiak's that. decision to kick a 62 fucking yard field goal that gave them 20 yards. Somebody needed to bend his ass over <laughs> and put that same effort of kicking him right in the ass. Do you know it's only been about three or four motherfuckers in history that ever make a, a, that, <laughs> a field goal that but, but, far. But, but you know where they did it at, though, right? They all came from the same place. Yeah. Which was Denver. You had uh, all, all those things happen in Denver. Well, he fucked up. Hold up. Did you hear some Star Wars shit? Yeah. He's trying to turn that shit off now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, He's trying to act like he all the thugs all shit. cell phones. But he got, he, he, hey, he's man, like hey, a real hey, stormtrooper hey, at heart. Like, all right, I'm love. I, hey, I'm a Orlando Caldassian. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> Who the fuck is calling me? I have, you a, know life, I have a lifesaver right in my right fucking now. car. <laughs> They know you're here. That's Fuck no flares idea. when I get in Why an accident. I have right a lifesaver that will light up a whole fucking freeway. <laughs> Fuck the CH Hey, hey, give me that number again. Call that number if you want to talk to me. Hey, is, is, is that your Tinder name? You got a Star Star Wars name on Tinder? Yeah, I That's do. Profile. Damn, I didn't say you got a Star Wars name on Tinder. <laughs> like I'm Lando Calrissian. C-3PO, <laughs> bitch. C-3PO. <laughs> Let me find out you Chewbacca, nigga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's his maiden car. <laughs> R2 dick. That nigga luring bitches yeah. in. Star Wars on this goddamn. That nigga luring <laughs> bitches in. He tried to do it all under the table like it wasn't his phone. Like, damn, I'm fucked up that I didn't turn this shit off right there, I heard man. That shit, I was like, what the fuck is that? Hey, it happens. It's live TV. What do you say? I thought this <laughs> nigga was go. <laughs> I'm not in right now. <laughs> Luke, I'm not your father. Join the dark side. I am your father, Luke. That's a cold. That's a cold ringtone when you got baby baby daddies and shit. This nigga's Farouk right here, right? Mm-hmm. That's his Darth Vader impression. I thought the nigga was sleep for real. Oh, that's his Darth Vader? Yeah, it is kind of <laughs> fucked up, man. I don't breathe as good as I used like to. Like Darth Vader with asthma and shit. Though. Yeah. <laughs> But that shit is cool, man. Yeah, but, hey, I tried. Uh, I tried. We get ready to go to uh, commercial right now, and we want anybody to uh, get ready to chime in because we get ready to come back with uh, Seds Sports Corner. We're going to have some cold sports talk at 323-293-3375. Don't forget to come on down to the J Spot on December 9th, uh, Friday night, where we're going to be doing the toy drive. <laughs> So bring some toys, and please bring toys mm-hmm. that you would actually want to open yourself. Don't just bring no and shit. bring some yeah. books and shit learning tools. Don't just no, bring. No, re, no re-gifting. Yeah. Bring some books. Un- unwrapped, unwrapped. Unwrapped. Yeah. You know, books, learning tools, school supplies. Uh, man, you gonna make bring toys. Look, he gonna make hey, the, the hey, Christmas, Kendall's iPad. You make all the that Christmas shit boring for a kid. Well, know? I don't <laughs> celebrate Christmas. Just try to teach the kids. Uh, hey, you can man. bring drones and shit, all that shit, all that good shit. You know, it's cool. You He's know like, look, know. mom, I got a ruler and a protractor. You know what I mean? That's good. You know, make them freak out. You seen that little boy? That's why commercial? if you get an F on your report card, that mean I'm gonna fuck you up. Because you got a ruler and you got a calculator. So how you get a D in math if you got a calculator? You sound like you got some bad child issues. Somebody been no, fucking I up. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I just stress the education and how we need to press upon our kids that it's uh, important to learn. A belt buckle. A belt buckle. No, not just that. Just to learn I, the, I, the I process. I do not condone any type of uh, corporal punishment to children. So you condone prison? Uh, or death. No, I don't. Hey, you heard he said, hey, uh, he yeah. said, you don't do what the kids? 
I, I don't condone corporal punishment. And what is that? What does that consist of? What's corporal punishment? Uh, ass whooping? Uh, yeah, ass whooping. Um, but what, though? No, kids <laughs> need their ass whooping. Listen, I'm fucking minds up, nigga. Yeah. Hey, hey. You all ten, work for all of mine. Hey, ain't, none of, ain't none of my kids gay. Ain't none of my kids broke. Ain't none of my kids without no education. And they don't call me for no money. What was your so weapon of choice? Was it, was it a switch or a belt? A belt, a belt. And my hands. See, mm-hmm. I got fast hands. I practice my fast ass hands. But I'm going to tell you what they hated the most. Mm-hmm. They hated when I made they stand their ass in the corner with their face facing the fucking corner. No, no, you got to get one leg up. My <laughs> sons. One leg up and don't touch the wall. I will, I will have my sons yeah. mm-hmm. sit on some motherfucking peas. But nigga, did you know Fidel Castro? No. That's the same hey, shit. Hey, guess what I did, though. To my kids. You know, you know what I did to my kids? My sons ain't dead. You don't see them, them no police shoot them. Nigga, I made them feel what I felt before when I fucked up as a kid. Uh, fish That's reach? a good lesson. No, no, that goddamn switch. Oh, nigga. yeah. Grandma switch? That switch. That, All that, my kids done felt that switch one that, time. Uh, that's, right. my, that's my weapon. And guess what, though? That switch one time, my nigga, by me... They tell you about Guess that Guess what? Today. Never again in life would they ever, you know what I'm saying? But they tell you thank you, though. Man, Check listen. this out. Take them we get ready to go to break. You know what I'm saying? Why these dudes pontificate on how they're going to be taking care Spare the rod, well, spoil the child. Man. We'll be right back. I'm going to suflex mine. <laughs> Spare the rod, spoil the child. Okay. Okay, we're back. We're back once again to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Right here. And uh, we got special guest again, Sid's Sports Corner. He's back again with the sports report. <laughs> We're glad to have him back. We thought he would lo- we lost him last week. What's up, y'all? How you I'm feeling, back. Big Sid? Oh, I'm good, man. We ain't losing. Where, where did he go yeah, to? Where I'm going? Where did he go to? I, <laughs> I got a nigga. job to do at the end of the day, <laughs> shit. Hey, Sid, what you, Hey. <laughs> I got a job to do at the end of the day. Somebody bro. went to get him from 7-Eleven. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, we didn't lose him. You were here talking shit. He about to got them go upside your motherfucking head, nigga. In the parking lot. In the parking, parking lot. But we ain't going to go back but down. We, good, we like fast good. forward, nigga. And like I told, told, told you, big partner over there, I got something for all you big people, man. I keep cheeseburgers <laughs> right, in the no. truck, man. Yeah. <laughs> shit. So what man. we got going on this, this week? Because this was we an interesting a, uh, week in sports. Man, we had a blast. Week, week 12 was a, a, a great week all the way around. I'm just going to read off a few scores. We got Seattle. Lost to Tampa Bay, man. 14-5. Uh, Ouch. New England do it again. They won 22-17 over the Jets. Mm-hmm. Carolina. Oakland. That was a hell of a game. Man, that, that mm-hmm. game right Ooh. there. I was watching that game, man. I could have swore Cam was going to pull that shit off, man. Hey, man. Uh, Oakland pulled it out 35-32, but, man. Hey, Oakland looking good right Oakland now. Oakland looking good right now. They looking good right now. I got to give them the, I mean. They showing hey, up and hey, showing the fuck the, out. That's what they doing. They only gave way to the Super Bowls in New England. Yeah, that's true. That's but they, true. They really playing a lot of good ball, man. What's this? You got KC over Denver 30 to 27. That was KC. a good game. Now that, man, was, KC, that was the man. motherfucking game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We ain't going to talk about it. Yo, boys. Yeah, they, we actually. They, we, they lost we four straight, but we they got off won, the won. We, yeah. we win the game now. They needed that. We just got to win all the rest of them for the rest of the But you know what? Green Bay can do it, though. If any team can do it, I count. I put my money on Aaron Rodgers. Man, man we Aaron. don't lose. If we don't lose for the rest of the season, we got a, a shot to slide up in there on somebody's ass. Yeah, Steelers. They whipped up on the coast, twenty-eight to seven. Rams got their ass whipped again, twenty-one to forty-nine. That was a the Saints good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good game. The boys showed out I mean, the first. The first on, half Drew showed Bree, out though. Man. Yeah. Drew Brees, man, he did his thing, man. See, when you got that experience, you got experience. Uh, that shit does go a long way in the clutch. Yeah. And your boys, uh, the Titans, they whooped mm. on Chicago. I bet Jeff probably about to cut his wrist right about now. <laughs> Shit, they won 27-21. That's why he didn't show up this week. <laughs> about time them damn Titans showed man, up. Atlanta, man. Atlanta, they, they the real deal. They whooped up on Arizona, man, 38-19. Uh, mm-hmm. That's pretty good win. Yeah, that was official ass whooping. Man. Textbook. New York, New York Giants, man. They, 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 they. Eli too, Manning, man. Eli, your boy yeah. uh, Beckham Jr., man, is the real deal, man. They whooped Three up on uh, Cleveland, twenty-seven and thirteen, and then you got the uh, Bills over the Jags, uh, twenty-one. Ooh, yeah, let me see. Now, I know my partner was happy with the, uh, that Dolphins, that Dolphins score, because I, I could have swore to God they wasn't gonna win that shit. Hey, you know what, man? They were, they got my boys, man, but. I, I was in Vegas. I put 
I wanted to put thirty dollars because they gave the Dolphins an eight point. They gave the Forty Nines eight point lead from the get go. We ended up losing by seven, so I would have won. But I got down there like two minutes too late, so I was going to definitely. Put I some tell money on people them. all the time that in the last seven years, the Dolphins has been a team. Whether they win or lose, they always cover the point spread. Also, I want to give a uh, big ups to uh, Alabama. They ranked number one. This the, this was the one of this is the week before the final college uh, football poll. You got right now. You got Alabama at one. Well, you know you the Huskies. You know, you know USC won against Notre Dame. They did. I, 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 I was going to say that. rain and everything. That was look, a good one. Uh, you got uh, Alabama ranked number one. You got Ohio State ranked number two. You got uh, was it Michigan? No, Michigan. They dropped Michigan out. Yeah. So you got Clemson number three, and then you got Washington coming in at four. Yeah. Now, so we now, were talking about the Lakers earlier. What do you think the Lakers' chances is this year? Hmm. Well, you know, they're young, man. I don't I don't think they're going to make it to the playoffs this year, but they, they got injuries. So did you see the game against – They got them uh, picked to make seven to eight. When they, when they the beat playoffs. Golden State? You seen that game when they beat Golden State? Yeah, that was a few weeks ago, though. But, but then but then they did get their ass uh, Golden swamped. State whipped on them twice. That was a nasty yeah, swamp. Was it? I just want – what's up with that – I ain't gonna even call him out his name, but Dwight Howard won the fight a fan the other night, man. Y'all see that shit? I ain't see that shit. What he get mad because the fan called him a bitch. He told the motherfucker, "Come on, say it." Is, is he related to uh, to your ass? <laughs> man, you can't call a grown nigga a grown man a bitch. Man. You, <laughs> you like, learned that last right week, right sir. Dwight you Howard got to be. Don't have to stress upon uh, that shit now. We <laughs> learned that last week, <laughs> sir. Dwight, Dwight Howard got to be about what seven? Seven what? Hell no, nah, man. He oh, ain't six no eleven, seven. man. Yeah, he ain't seven foot at all. Six ten. Six ten. Six eleven, then you yeah, might as well seven, say seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. When he stretch out, he he every bit of seven foot. But I'm just saying he's standing a straight power up. Power forward that can't play power forward, so he's forced to play center and can't make free throws. Oh, I want to tell y'all something. My brother wanted me to give y'all a little message. He got y'all set. Uh if Oh, from the uh from the last show. If you want him to upload and put it on YouTube, he can. If y'all want that. Now, now that show that you had, that was your birthday show, right? That was my birthday show. That did, did he get all of that on 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 the film? He got all that, but uh, of course, um, he called and asked, "Okay, we, we the, the the he just finished the DVD, yeah. so right. the DVD is done." Okay, so it was a comedy convict DVD. So AJ, myself, Hurricane, and Bubble O. Now we was on here. We had uh, we was asking the comedians earlier where they what they got coming up. Now I know a lot of people know you from said Sports Corner, but you know I, I don't know if some people know you just do sports or do you do comedy. So when when is your next show coming up? My next show coming up, I don't know. Probably sometime early next year. I ain't really really been tripping. I just trying to work on some new material. But if you need me on the ninth, you know I come through and do something. Well, on me, on the ninth is oh is all welcome to any comedian as long as they bring a what. I okay, guess five people, right? It's put five asses people. A toy. In the we bring, seat. we have him the oh, toy, toy drive. We try to put, toy up. And, yeah. and put asses in the seat. <laughs> Dude, that shit like he was on Jeopardy. He said, uh, "Guest." Yeah, but normally, uh, like I was telling my boy, yeah. he said, "You say you putting them on the show." I said, "Man, if you bring some people, man, you might can get paid." That's why. Oh, yeah, I don't know if, if you still do that. So if, I just told him that. If he you talking about people, Dante? Yeah. Dante? Yeah. If he come and he brings some toys, he brings some people. Yeah, he gonna get a little change. Yeah, in his that's body. what I was telling him. I said he used to do it like that. I don't know if he still do it like that, but. I told him, you know. Yeah, we gonna we gonna get Dante right, man. We, he all good with us. We want we thought he was coming back uh, this week. What, what he got a gig this week? <laughs> I heard he's gonna be at uh, at Norm's. Mm, mm. Oh, the, what they got? Mm. <laughs> nah. <said> it's Norm. <laughs> this one went crazy. Y'all got to see it. You got, to, you got to start. That's fucked. You got to start. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Norm's. That's you know that's that's big shit. Man. Yeah, late night. Hell yeah! You know they got that. Night, they got that trio. That's like that. That's that's like this. this like the West Coast. Uh, North like the West Coast Waffle House. Man, you know what? I went to chicken a fried house. steak. Yes, it is. I went to a damn Waffle House. That is the raggediest ass. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a real restaurant. Hey, listen, listen. When the last time you been down south? I think I went about three months ago, and uh, they said you could have your goddamn hash browns done a hundred ways. Mm. Yeah. Last time I went to a Waffle House, I was in Beaumont, Texas. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was in '92. I've been to Beaumont since. Fuck then, that! Fuck that time. Waffle House up too, didn't you? Now check this out. Yeah, see? It. yeah. yeah he well, I about, really love that damn. They got a spot called the Golden Skillet. The Golden Skillet. I know what they you're talking about. They give you a goddamn skillet. You put your shit <laughs> on there, that man. That shit got to be delicious. Oh That's my! I was right in there. there eating that, flirting with a uh, yes. uh, a police officer that was a female. 
<laughs> well, she knew she was drunk. Did, did, was did you hear that drunk. detail? A police officer. That was that was a female. Yeah. that just happened to be hungry than the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, she was a sister. She was fine than the motherfucker. But I was just talking shit to her, bumping my guns because I know right. she knew we was drunk and like, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, I would love to just Book get these niggas a DUI. So. I was just trying to, you know, I asked her if she wanted, you know, a biscuit or some gravy or some <laughs> shit. You look thick like you like this type of shit. <laughs> oh. it, he, know, he know exactly what to yeah. tell her. He's going to talk his way right in the back seat of that motherfucking car. Was <laughs> well, she the waitress? She was also the waitress? No. <laughs> But it was called a Golden Skillet, man, in Beaumont, Texas, man. Say it. Uh, nice place. Say it, what, what, what's your three picks this year? I mean, this week, because uh, okay, I, I think I, I might three, put a little change down. You getting, you getting, you like you on a roll and stuff. Before, before I put my three picks, man, I, I forgot to mention about the Cowboys, because I got a couple of Cowboy fans. I don't want to get them upset, but the Cowboys won again over the uh, uh, the Washington Redskins. But also, y'all see that bullshit, Dez Bryant and uh, Josh Norman getting into it. Damn, niggas is over there tickling each other. <laughs> <laughs> so they get into it, and the boy Josh Norman said he gonna empty the clip. Damn, <laughs> Dez, right? it was the all clip? The, yeah. What they going on some two pocket so biggie shit? I don't know what happened. But apparently they got into it during the game, <laughs> and the nigga said he gonna empty the clip on Dez Bryant. <laughs> That shit is too crazy. Gang banging, playing football for real. Man, stop that shit it, is fellas. Romo, exactly. Romo probably, on, stop man. it, okay? Romo probably put him up to it. So my Just three go picks out there this and week. play the game exactly. that you played for all the rhetoric and the ego. Leave it out there, man. Express all of that energy on the field. Not making man. too much money for that. Yeah. So what's your three picks? My I'm three picks gonna, gonna be the Vikings over uh, Cowboys this week. Oh, uh, no. But I'm not reason why? Reason, but go the, the reason that. reason being that they playing in uh, Minnesota, so I give them a little edge. Nah. They're gonna, they're gonna he ate Adrian Petersons. We got the 49ers over the field. That sounds like a family feud. Wrong question. Uh, uh, Man, that's a cold. Who they, who they got this? What's so we got, next pick? We got the 49ers over the Bears. That's a toss-up. Both of them is scrub, so. I don't know. I'm we might we gotta give you that one and shit. I don't Jeff know. might get lucky on that one, man, because the 49ers is like about the second sorriest motherfuckers <laughs> outside of the Browns in the league, man. I mean, they only won one game, so they record speak for itself. Yeah, the Browns ain't won no game. So, so, you know, the 49ers might get that second pick. And then also, I'm going to take Green Bay over the Texas. Reason being that Green Bay need all these games to get in the playoffs. Yeah, so we they got gonna to fight. have. They're they going to fight. We got to have every. All of his picks. Every game we are going to. Have, from now on, we got to be uh, right. <laughs> Every last one got, of I mean, picks are wrong. I mean, they was, it was a must win against Philly. They went up in Philly. Philly was undefeated at the house. And they went We're not on, talking went about on. Philly. We talk about this week. I'm just saying, though, Texas now, let, really let's, not Let's good. go from the last game. Who? What's the last game you said who's going to win? I'm taking Green Bay <laughs> over to Texas. Green Bay over Texas. Uh, okay, what's the other one? That's it. That's my three right there. And what's the, what, he had what's the he had the Vikings over the Cowboys. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for for Rukas picking, I'm going 0 and three. His predictions, I'm going 0 and well, three. Yeah, see, I'm predicting see, he's going 0 and three. So this see this, now we got it. Did really don't make no sense because even if you flip these motherfuckers, it's, it's you know what I'm saying it ain't shit. That's just my. Pick, so we gonna see what's coming up in in uh, week in week. What is this? The the twelfth week. 12th week right here. 12th week, we're going to see what's going it's on. It's actually going to be the get 13th into week. Wrestling, man. Now, you said this week we was probably going to get into some basketball, or did you have another sport like uh, beginning and intermediate ping pong? Nah. Because we got we to gotta co cover all sports. See, black people always want to just do, you know what I'm saying? We just want to do the regular, you know, what about some fucking uh, badminton? Well, you know, the segment is only 15 minutes long, Marv. I know where a cool <laughs> crap game is later on. Uh, that shit is a sport. Hey. Well, I'm from it is. Hmm. What was, what was, what was, I know where dice game is later on tonight. <laughs> How much they shooting for? For whatever you now, the fuck on your guy. Day. I just want to give a shout out to my brother um, for filming the show for me. Came a DVD came out real good. Yeah, it be in stores pretty soon. So. I can't wait to see it. What's the What's the name of it? Uh, uh, Eddie Johnson presents the comedy convicts. comedy convicts. Yeah, and where can they Where can they find that? Well, we actually gonna put it on Amazon, and, and that's iTunes. your birthday show. Yeah, we want to also uh, make sure we give another uh, shout out to Hemp Life, and the Barbara yep. Morrison Performing Arts Theater, which is right on Forty Third and Degnan. The Shop Hair Lounge, located at Forty Three Oh Six 
Crenshaw Boulevard and the New Millennium Sports Barbershop, 4312 Crenshaw Boulevard. Now, uh, if you guys come into this shop and mention the Mad Marv uh, Comedy Lounge, you will be uh, getting over 130 years of combined hair experience. We are the best uh, barbers and hairstylists in uh, Los Angeles, hands down. You want your shit done correctly, come on down to the Shaw. To the Shaw. And don't forget to bring done. them toys, man, on the show. Mad Marv's uh, Comedy Show. Uh, now, uh, now you, you was at the last giveaway last year, right? It was off the chain. Y'all yeah. did a real good job. Man. We we actually ran out of kids, so uh, we want to make sure we got some toys for all the kids. And it is an age limit. Don't be thirty five up in there uh, trying to get free shit. Uh, you remember the last cat last week? Uh, you was you was there. Old ass nigga said, "Can I have this since all the kids is gone? Get yeah. your ass <laughs> out of here." <laughs> Yeah. I'd like to give a shout out to every nigga that owe me some money. It's finna be a new year. Pay me now or I'm going <laughs> up on the interest. If I see you, I'm busting your kneecap. So every nigga that owe me money, I'm giving a shout out to you. You ever have Pay a motherfucker, hey, money. you ever have a motherfucker uh, uh, try to borrow money from you that still already owe you money? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say this right here to y'all Mad Mars fan. I need some of y'all followers, man. Y'all follow me on Instagram, Yeah, man. what's, what's the... Uh, what's CBO the... underscore your boy name. Your boy Nim. Your boy Hey, right. Cbo underscore your boy Nim. Everybody know who your boy Nim is. Yeah, Come on, yeah. man. You know, they but, stay right next to right, Bobby Exactly, Nim. your boy Nim. Right, right. right. <laughs> man, but Cbo underscore your boy Nim. You know what I'm saying? Come and, follow and once me. Once again. Now, see, bro, we going to talk about this cold-ass motherfucking turban you got. Bro. Oh, it is this cold-ass time. Is <laughs> you with the motherfucking Lakeside or the Ohio players? That's the Varsity Haji team. Hey man, check That's it out. That's that old school shit. So I want this, him this to was, give some history on this headpiece right here. See, this, this was one of my grandma church hats. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a some turban. Cold, I right. thought it was some cold shit. Right, this one of my grandma. It's a turban. Let him give you the history right, though. Right, right. Why he saying? representing that? Right, right, right. See, shut the hell up, mom. <laughs> Cause this other big nigga got one on too. Right. It's like like this is our crown, man. When you're a king, you got. You know what I'm saying. It's like a crown, my nigga. Right. So, like, where, see, like, where, see, like, where, did, where did it emanate from? Where did hmm? it start from? Where did, where did that, that, where did that all come from? Where was the origin of it? Where did it come from? Yeah. Well, see, you're not finna go to ghetto Google. I thought you was gonna get. <laughs> I'm, I'm not finna let you ghetto Google me, motherfucker. No. no. Well, in 1755. <laughs> no, I ain't, I ain't finna go back in history. Right. We talking yeah. about right now, right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Grandma, listen here. The she, 70s on she, up. She, she fuck. She'll fuck around, fry some fish with this motherfucker <laughs> on. She'll wash the dish with this bitch's on. She'll fuck, fuck around and ain't no telling what she might do. Whoop with this your ass exactly. with it on. <laughs> she doing whatever with Coming this Come and embarrass on. the fuck out you. Coming to pick you up at school because you've been fucking up with the turban on. And a sundress. Somebody in your family got one of these then. You know what My grandmama had that one. She made them. That's that. what I'm talking about. Niggas so know that's that. a wait, part wait, wait, wait. of history. Yeah, right. It's, it's through the family, bro. Your grandmama made them? Yeah. That's homemade. Look at the girl. creases in that motherfucker right there, man. That's a real turban. That's a, yeah. that's a real crown, my nigga. That's the shit. That's, the that's shit. a real crown. Now, what was, what was, your, what was your, uh, your, your grandmother's name? Her name was Willie. Willie. Willie May? No. Hey. Willie Elaine. E. Lois. Hey, That's listen. Right. Why we talking Willie about Willie Lois Shields. Okay, oh. so look here. Everybody, uh, we want to make sure. That's uh, Cebo at what? Cebo underscore. Boy Nim. Cebo underscore your boy Nim. Your boy Nim. We got uh, an African bambada. This other nigga with the turban on. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he big just walked his ass in. <laughs> Look at this big motherfucker right here. I'd be scared to say something wrong to this nigga, man. See, I ain't even looked over there. This nigga, well, this nigga got some cold. Look at home, boys, man. That nigga look like a killer. Look, the nigga bigger than him. Yeah. That's did, what I was hey, did y'all say this was trap God, comedy? Damn. Yeah. Didn't they say it was trap yeah, comedy? Best. Did they say it's trap comedy? I didn't think they had a nigga bigger than Sebo. He came in. Sebo got a dangerous man, crew, I told you I brought my bodyguard. I'm usually yeah, my own bodyguard, but I that brought nigga my nigga go guard your whole body. This right. nigga is right. big than a motherfucker, man. That's my bodyguard. I can bodyguard my goddamn self, but I brought my I told you I brought my biggest what dog the in the backyard. Eat, that man. right there eat everything. Man, we won't eat for dinner. Man, we won't eat number potty meat, fish sticks, and Hash brown. Y'all eat people. <laughs> These niggas eat people, man. They big than a motherfucker. All right, with this, that that concludes another exciting episode of the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mad Marv Comedy Lounge and watch us right here again next Tuesday from seven to eight. MorrisMediaLive.com. Roll next yeah. week.
Peace to the world. <laughs>